How does AI work? Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy this video. Today we are going to peel back the layers of one of the most revolutionary and rapidly evolving technologies of our time, artificial intelligence, or AI. You've probably heard of AI, but do you know how it works? Join us as we dive into the mechanics of this game-changing technology. Artificial intelligence refers to the capability of a machine to mimic human behavior. It is a broad field that involves many subfields, such as machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, and much more. Let's break down these components and understand how they contribute to making AI work. Machine learning, or ML, is a core component of AI. It involves training machines to learn from data and then make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to perform the task. The key here is, learning from data. It's like teaching a child how to recognize a dog by showing them pictures of different dogs. Over time, they learn to identify a dog even if they've never seen that specific breed before. Now, within machine learning, there are different methods or algorithms for machines to learn from data. These include supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning is like a teacher-student setup. We have labeled data where the answer, or the output, is known. The machine learns from this data and then applies this learning to new, unseen data. An example would be an email spam filter, where the algorithm learns from a set of emails labeled as spam or not spam. Unsupervised learning, on the other hand, deals with unlabeled data. The machine tries to find patterns and relationships in the data without any prior training. A common use of unsupervised learning is in clustering uses for targeted marketing campaigns. Lastly, we have reinforcement learning, where an agent learns to behave in an environment by performing actions and seeing the results. It's like teaching a dog tricks, they learn to associate an action with a reward. A common example is training machines to play and improve at video games. Now, let's move to a more advanced subset of machine learning, deep learning. Deep learning algorithms try to mimic the human brain using something called artificial neural networks. This involves layers of interconnected nodes, or neurons, which process and pass on information. These networks can recognize patterns in large and complex data sets and make decisions based on these patterns. One popular use case of deep learning is in image recognition. For instance, social media platforms use it to recognize and tag faces in photos. Another important area in AI is natural language processing, or NLP. This is how machines understand, interpret, and generate human language. It's what allows virtual assistants like Alexa or Siri to understand your spoken commands and respond appropriately. NLP involves several complex tasks like part of speech tagging, named entity recognition, sentiment analysis, and much more. It's also the backbone of machine translation services, which let you translate text from one language to another. Another crucial subfield of AI is computer vision. It's the science of getting computers to see and understand the content of digital images or videos. This could involve recognizing objects in an image, identifying people, or even understanding the layout of a room from a photo. Computer vision is crucial in various applications like self-driving cars, which need to recognize traffic signs and obstacles, or in facial recognition systems used for security purposes. We've mentioned neural networks earlier, but what exactly are they? A neural network takes in inputs, which are processed in hidden layers using weights that are adjusted during training. The model then outputs a prediction. The deep in deep learning refers to the number of hidden layers in the neural network. The deeper the network, more layers, the more complex the patterns it can recognize. These weights in the network are adjusted during training by a process called backpropagation, which involves going back through the network and adjusting the weights to better classify the inputs. Through this process, neural networks learn to recognize patterns and make decisions. They're the backbone of many modern AI applications, from voice assistants to recommendation systems. While AI has come a long way, it's not without its challenges. AI systems need large amounts of data to train on, which isn't always available. There's also the issue of bias in AI, where systems can make unfair decisions if they're trained on biased data. Additionally, AI systems today are still largely narrow in their focus and lack the general, flexible intelligence that humans have. Creating systems with general intelligence, also known as artificial general intelligence, or AGI, is one of the grand challenges in the field. And that's a wrap on our journey through the inner workings of AI. It's a field that's complex, fascinating, and ever-evolving. 
We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what goes on behind the scenes when we talk about AI. If you enjoyed this deep dive and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos on AI and other cutting-edge technologies. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts about today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.